Hello and welcome to another complete Cambridge IGCSE biology lesson where you'll learn absolutely everything you need to know on topic 7.5 absorption. As always we'll be following the Cambridge syllabus exactly and we'll cover absolutely everything you need to know for your final exam. For topic 7.5 you need to state that the small intestine is the main site of absorption and for extended explain the significance of villi and microvilli. In topic 7.2 we learned about the five functions of the digestive system and the parts of the system in which they occur. Absorption of small soluble molecules that have already undergone both physical and chemical digestion is one of those functions and it takes place in the small intestine. Now for core, all you need to know is that almost all of the absorption of digested food and most of the water takes place in the ileum and that some water is absorbed from the colon. For extended however you also need to know how the ileum is adapted to its role. So one of the main factors that influences the rate of absorption is the area of the exchange surface. A larger surface provides more space for the molecules to move across while a smaller surface restricts the movements of the molecules and slows down their passage. The internal surface area area of the ileum is extremely large at around 30 square meters and this is due to its length as well as the structure of its lining. It has circular folds and is covered with millions of tiny finger-like projections called villi. These villi are lined with epithelial cells, the outer membranes of which are covered with microvilli that increase the surface area even more. Now each villus contains a dense network of capillaries that allow the absorbed products of digestion to enter the bloodstream. Small soluble molecules like glucose and amino acids pass through the epithelial cells of the villi, through the walls of the capillaries, which are only one cell thick, and into the blood. The capillaries merge into veins, which direct the nutrients to the liver, where they're converted to other molecules or stored. Molecules can then be released from the liver and transported via the circulatory system to the cells and tissues that require them. In addition to capillaries, each villus contains a single vessel called a lacteal, which is involved in the absorption of fats. Many of the fatty acids and glycerol molecules from the digestion of triglycerides reform in the epithelium of the villi into fats. These fats move into the fluid in the lacteals, which flows into the lymphatic system and then eventually into the blood. Well done, you've just covered absolutely everything you need to know on topic 7.5, absorption. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate your subscription and I'll see you next time for topic 8.1, xylem and phloem.